On the outside, these are the tough guys, the bullies, the name callers, the ones most likely to bring weapons to school to intimidate classmates. But inside Fairfax County's Adult Detention Center, it's a different story. Good morning. I'm Lieutenant Corcoran. I'm with the Sheriff's Office. And we are going to give you a tour of the jail. And this is in coordination with the Office of the Sheriff and the Hayfield Coalition. From the moment these sixth grade boys from Hayfield Elementary School entered the jailhouse world of lawyers, jailers, and inmates, it was apparent the possibilities of their own futures flashed before their eyes. And it was not a pretty picture. They got to get up at 4.30 in the morning to eat breakfast. Their food comes to this slot right here. Okay, that's where your food comes through. Okay, when you eat in there with 10 people, you live in there with 10 people. Does that look like a pretty big place to be with 10 people? The people who organize this unusual field trip call what they're doing JET. That's short for juveniles experience tough talk. The idea is to show students who are frequently the subject of disciplinary action the error of their ways while there's still time for them to adjust. I promise you young fellas one thing that if you don't take a real look at yourselves, your friends, your attitudes in general, the respect to your elders, and the people that can help guide you to a better life, if you keep turning your back on them and shutting them out, I'm guaranteed you're going to come here. You're going to end up in institutions if you don't end up dead. I have been in here calling guys pop. After a while, there's going to be guys like y'all coming here calling me pop. So, you know, it's time to change. I mean, really think about it. You know, we're not trying to scare you. We're telling you what's for real. And it's scary. Jet is a life lesson that doesn't end at the jailhouse door. The field trip is followed by counseling sessions involving students and the students' parents. If they don't finish school, they either get into drugs, they get into drinking, and that's what I did. So I'm learning that my parents didn't get into my education, so I didn't finish school, so I'm doing it all by myself. So I want the, my boys to succeed. With support and encouragement, JET program participants can turn themselves around. It's not always easy, but as these adults have learned the hard way, it is worth the effort. I haven't been on the streets in a year and a half. It's hard to tell how long it will be before I am on the streets. <coughs> so, I mean, think about it. Once you come in here, I started out just like y'all did, fighting in school, skipping school, smarting back to the teachers and all that, and you see where I'm at today. I've gotten in trouble at school a couple of times. And it just taught me a lesson not to break the law and just do good in school and bring up my grades. I'm gonna change because I don't want to end up in jail when I'm like 18 or something and not be able to hang around with my friends. For Red Apple 21, I'm Marcus Jones.